This time, we will make a simple news application. The backend website that we will use is WordPress. Immediately, we create a new project. We fill in the form provided, right according to the provisions mentioned, such as fields that require using characters A to Z and uppercase letters or spaces. Next, we will make the required pages, such as food, travel, health, sports. After that, we make several menu items and relate them to the page. Okay, we arrange the menu so that it looks neater.
Now, we will make an Ionic project. You can follow the commands on this compiler page. For the unusual with Ionic, follow all the commands. so that your work can be faster. App Builder also creates several files containing the command prompt, code for Windows and Bash, for Linux and Mac OS. Start.sh or start.cmd is the same as this command. For updates and emulators, it's the same as the one in the App Builder, just to make it easier. However, it would be better if the command is executed manually. Because if there is an error, it will be easier to repair it manually. Okay, let's run it. It's done, let's check, is there a missing or error? Okay, now we will run WordPress posts, WordPress page, WordPress users and WordPress media add-ons. And this is the website that will be used as the application. Okay, we use the WordPress post add-ons to retrieve data in the food category on the WordPress website. Choose the page to be targeted Write the title for the page. Write a WordPress link, it must not be on the main page. Choose the layout that will be used. To get the id category, you can go through RESTful API. Finally, click the Save Changes button or press Enter. Then do it again for other pages, health, sports and more.
Make updates for all plugins and native Ionic used. Run all of these commands. After that, you can run the emulator. OK, has finished to post data. Now we will try to retrieve data for one page. I will retrieve data for privacy policy. For that, we can use WordPress page add-ons. Select the target page, Privacy Policy. How to get a page in. Log into your WordPress dashboard and click the Navigation Menu page. Then click Edit. You will get a page in on the link in your browser's address bar. This is page ID. We also have to fill in the WordPress URL. And also the page title.
Okay, let's save it. Next, we check the native plugin, is there something missing? Please follow all the commands listed here. Now we run the emulator. We return to the add-ons page, so that you can quickly take advantage of this recently activity tab. We see an emulator, have we managed the code? Apparently, we have succeeded. Now we will use WordPress Media. The target page is home. The method is almost the same as before. We write the page title and WordPress URL. The media that will be used are images, and images are displayed based on the selected media ID. To see the media id, just click edit, then the media id will appear in the URL. We will save the settings, and see the results. Thank you for trusting our products.